Good morning, people. It is Sunday. It's freezing. Um, really don't feel like doing anything today, but today is the day I'm going to try to get the hatch started. Um, not so much get everything put back together just yet. I'm not even going to put the turbo kit on because I haven't even um, put the new bung in the oil pan for the oil return. So... I don't have to worry about anything leaking just yet so I just want to start the car up and make sure all the harness is put back right and then I'll worry about putting all the turbo stuff back on but for now today the goal is pretty much to get everything back on the motor and get the car started that's it we're starting now got my buddy Edmund what up, what up? and then supposedly um, Mike said he was coming We'll see about that and Alex said he was coming too so we'll see who's coming over uh, it may be a full garage today it may not but I'm saying whoever wants to come over is always invited I grab this off. okay go ahead I don't know where to grab it dude. this is when you're too cheap to buy more antifreeze this is what we do that's the good stuff, that fresh antifreeze that I just dumped in there. Let me move my foot. <laughs> Go ahead, keep twisting, keep twisting. Every drop counts. Alright, let me see. Yo, that is fresh. Oh, no! Oh, no! Alright, so we kind of decided to find a way to get a nice heat going on. <laughs> And we have, what is that? Let me see the bottle. No, oh. Let me see the bottle, let me see the bottle real quick. It is from your local auto parts store. Some brake parts cleaner. And, but no, Alex, Alex is here. It's Alex, Edmund, and Chum. And we're out here. Alex took apart this block. And here's a piece of the piston. That's one piece. Other pieces around there somewhere. There's another piece around there over there somewhere, but you can't I'm not sure if you can really see that but that right there is the piston ring you can see the piston ring right from the top but yeah he took that apart we got the head sitting right here um, other than that pretty much this is what has been going on throughout the day we have gotten the intake manifold on throttle body idle air control valve um, Pretty much the the cold. duck for the um, for the antifreeze and well the thermostat housing and stuff. New oil uh, oil filter. The starter's on. I'm saying I'm not gonna put this hose because I still gotta put the other hose and stuff from in there. Distributors on. Um, the wires and everything. Fuel rail injectors and everything. Um, this is just sitting in here just because I wanted it see um how the line fit to make sure it's on there right which it is good but ish, um i cut this line here because it was broke um here's the other piece here's the line that i'm going to use i got to cut that still here goes the brand new uh fuel filter uh, i got the bracket here that mounts right here so it's gonna i get i get to have to the bracket there. I did decide to just leave the fuel filter silver because um, this bracket is black, so it'll match with the color scheme that's up here. So, but yeah, close to, close enough was pretty much what's going to happen next. Um, I'm gonna work the wire harness later, but I have to wait until um, I still have to tap the oil pan. Which is I gotta tap the oil pan. I have, I'm not tapping this one. I'm gonna just take that one off. But I'm gonna do this one, which is the spare one that I have. I'm saying it's a good thing. It's nice to have a bunch of spare parts for it. Um, but I am gonna use that one. Running. I was gonna try to get it to start today, but there's no point in uh, trying to get the car started, putting oil and everything. I'm saying you don't really need the coolant just to start it up, just to hear it. But you do need oil, and I'm not gonna sit there and put brand new oil in just to take it back out to do the oil pan. Um, and I still need to put, I still got to wait for a magnetic uh, oil drain plug, which I have. So I'm not going to sit there and just waste all that oil. So I don't feel like draining it back out. So I'm just going to wait for that to come. 
to be able to start the car. And by then, I should have the car completely put back together. Um, all of the, the fenders and everything should be back on. All right, so pretty much I've just been um, uh, just putting little things here and there. I got the fuel filter connected. I'm saying I try to run this bracket, but I'm saying you can't really see now because I tie strapped that on there. But this bracket's too big and it leaves, it leaves a pretty decent size gap in there. So there's no point in running that. So I just put, I just used tie straps for that and left this running here. Um, this, these, all these piping, all the piping and everything is going to get painted black uh, to match. Um, I'm not going to run um, the heater core as you can see back there. This is where the heater core, right where I'm pointing at right there is where the heater core used to be at. Oh, so I'm saying I took the turbo back off and everything. Also, we did um mock up uh we did mock up the driver's seat i'm saying the back doesn't doesn't sit right so it kind of just hangs there but what i'm going to do is once i get the car running again um i'm going to take it once i pull the carpet and stuff out i'm going to take it to my house and i'm just going to re-weld i'm just going to weld the back to the floor itself because i don't plan on taking these seats back out once they're in oh i'm saying alex is on he's how many miles you got on your clutch now? About 160. He's got about 160. Um, he's gonna he's gonna push it to me to about 300 miles, and then go from there because he said it's starting to feel a lot more comfortable. Right? Yeah. So it's starting to feel a lot more comfortable. He's gonna break it in or just uh, pretty much once it hits 300, then it's, I'm pretty sure it'll be safe. All right, so I'm home. Um, I just got back from dinner with my family. I'm gonna go take a shower and uh go lay down and stuff because i'm dead beat we all had a long day today got a lot accomplished i mean the car, the car is very very close to being finished um other than a few parts that i need that are pretty much really close and tracking them and they're already close they're pretty close i should be getting them with all all within this week coming up so this car should be done hopefully i want to say next weekend it should be back up on the road and be able to drive but like I said I hope you guys are enjoying the build and um I guess I will catch you guys in the next one I want to like it like always you know like if you like the video hit the like button if you like the video if you didn't like the video please still hit that like button um if you're new subscribe hit the subscribe button make sure to hit the bell so you can get notified of when I always upload anything and um, comment down below like always whatever you want uh, and I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one peace